In this video, I'm going to answer a question from Fong in the Zoho CRM developer forums. What we're trying to achieve here is to be able to send an API request to an endpoint called slash health. And the poster has found that it works in Postman, but it doesn't work in a Zoho CRM custom function. I've had a go and I can replicate this issue that the original poster was getting. If I run it, the same code here, I get a security warning from Zoho. Instead of executing the API endpoint, it tells me that there's a access control configuration, which is pretty interesting. The original poster said that if they ran it in Postman, I'm using Insomnia, but should be the same kind of deal, that it was working for them. It doesn't work for me which makes me think that even though local.com is a real URL, I reckon that this isn't about hitting the local.com API. I think what we're trying to achieve here is we've got a local endpoint that we're running, a local web server, Node.js server from what we can tell from the post, and we want to be able to access it from outside our local network. The thing about local URLs is that they only work on your computer. I imagine that what the developer has tried to do here is they've set up in their host file on their computer, they've mapped local.com to their local host so that they're able to access endpoints like this without having to do localhost 9001. I'm going to show an alternative way. You can see here I've got a server running on port 3002 on my local host. That works on my computer. If I chuck this into a custom function, it's definitely not going to work. I reckon I'll probably get the same error that we saw, or a slightly different one, but maybe that's even why they tried to use local.com instead. The way to get around this is to use an SSH tunnel. I like to use ngrok.io. You can see here I've got an alias for my localhost URL via ngrok, and I'll just pull that up so that you're able to know where to get it from. ngrok is a free service. I use the paid plan, but you can definitely use it for free, where you're able to give out a public URL pointing to your localhost server. If I do that, then I reckon this will work without a hitch. I should see OK coming back. OK, that's what I get here. That works perfectly well. The solution, therefore, for the dilemma that we're facing is to use a service like Endrock. There are other SSH tunneling services, but I quite like Endrock, very easy to use. Hope that helps.